ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday afternoon, the 26th day of August. James Spann here in the ABC 3340 Weather Center. Faye on the way out. Gustav on the way into the scene in terms of the Gulf of Mexico. Let's go right to some shots this afternoon. And boy, still raining Here's a look at our downtown Birmingham sky cam looking right down 20th Street from the top of the Daniel Building, but the rain is beginning to taper off as Faye lifts out. Uh, Demopolis down in West Alabama, still some raindrops on the lens there, and boy, the water is running high on the Tom Bigby. A lot of debris floating downstream. And from Gadsden, I promise you, the city's down there somewhere where you just can't see it because of uh, tropical rains falling up in northeast Alabama. Well, there's our water vapor satellite shot. You can see Faye is indeed on the way out, lifting up through northeast Alabama. And in the wake of that, the weather looking pretty dry here for a while. Surface pressure field shows Faye near Scottsboro, Alabama. And what a journey that thing has been on. But it's clearly moving northeast. It'll be moving up into the Great Smokies tonight. And in the wake of that, we'll begin to see a northerly flow in a drier day tomorrow. Most of the active, uh, really severe type storms, and not storms, tropical rain showers capable of producing tornadoes are east of Alabama through Georgia, and that's where a tornado watch is currently in effect until 7 o'clock Eastern time this evening, and that runs all the way from near Tallahassee up to Greenville, South Carolina, and that does include Atlanta and Macon and Augusta. Uh, but again, around here, just some lingering showers. QPF map, expected rain for the next uh, five days, valid through Sunday morning at 7. The big rains are out. They are up to the northeast of here, running from near uh, Asheville, North Carolina, to uh, Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. And uh, again, I really think things are going to be pretty dry here through much of the Labor Day weekend. But of course, next week, the players are in the tropics. Uh, we've got two on the board. We've got uh, uh, Gustav. Maybe you just ought to call that thing Goose. Gustav is uh, right there on the southwest coast of Haiti, and we've got the uh, wave to the north and we'll uh, the, to the west. But we'll take a look at both of them. First off, there's a look at uh, Gustav, and uh, you can see it's uh, pretty much uh, on the coast of Haiti, and there is some interaction with land which will uh, temporarily inhibit strengthening. Modeling on Gustav. Pretty uh, pretty tight uh, cluster there. Most all the uh, models bring it into the Gulf of Mexico by Sunday or Monday. And from there, who knows? Uh, the GFDL, it's kind of a scary scene there. It, it actually keeps that thing moving northwest up toward the central coast of Louisiana, west of New Orleans. Uh, is a very significant hurricane early next week. Will it move up toward uh, the marshes of south-central Louisiana? Will it be a New Orleans storm? Will it be a Mobile Bay storm? Or will it recurve back into Tampa Bay? We'll look at the GFS and the European here in just a moment. Uh, here's a look at uh, the other wave that could become Tropical Storm Hannah. Uh, this is out there around uh, 53 west and 20 north. That's a higher latitude system, and accordingly the modeling uh, takes that northwest, and it, again, at that point, it's got the option of bending back toward the United States coastline or recurving. The GFDL wants a recurve, but the GFS, on the other hand, wants it to bend back toward the U.S. coast, as you'll see here in just a moment. In fact, let's look at that thing. Here's the uh, GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow. What's left of Fay is northeast of here, down below that. Uh, the Showers pretty much out of here. And again, I think we better mention maybe just a, a, sh a few scattered showers in the backwash of that thing. But all of the big rains well to the northeast. Thursday, we go totally dry. And we heat up. We're talking low 90s here. Hey, this is August. Same deal Friday. Mostly sunny. Low 90s. Uh, no rain for the high school football games. This is opening week. So fall must be getting close. And then Saturday, starting off the weekend, we've got that surface boundary that's approaching from the north. For now, it looks like Saturday will stay generally dry. We note Hannah well to the east of uh, Charleston and uh, Gustav coming up through the Yucatan Channel. Sunday, the front just kind of stalls out near Nashville. And again, looking at that, you might mention a chance of a shower. I don't think it'll rain much at all Sunday. 
Hanna is still well to the east of Charleston, and Gustav is not developed, but you can see the moisture with that down there in the Gulf. We'll go to Monday. Now, on this run, the weakness that was in the ridge is really not there. Uh, we've got that big trough coming into the north central states, and ultimately that should begin to bend Gustav northward. And, and when that happens, obviously at this early stage of the game, we don't know. At the surface, you can see uh, uh, Hannah looking pretty good coming at uh, the coast of the Carolinas there. It's moving back toward the east coast of the United States. And Gustav is in the Gulf. It doesn't show as developed here, but more than likely it will be. Now, let me show you the European Monday. Now, you talk about an outlier. It's got strong uh, wedging, uh, that big old high uh, just uh, below Cape Cod, uh, ridging down in here. That'd be a cool and dry day. And uh, Gustav, is, it shows it moving into Mexico. Now, remember, the European was uh, somewhat of an outlier to the south with Faye, and it certainly is an outlier to the south on this one. And we'll discount it for now, but again, just to show you the ideas out there on the table. I mean, that would go in way south of Brownsville, Texas. Tuesday, back to the GFS. The moisture with Gustav is coming up toward the central Gulf Coast. Hannah getting closer to the Atlantic Coast. Wednesday of next week, look at Hannah coming on toward the Carolinas. And Gustav could be inland at that point. Thursday of next week, Hannah makes a move toward, uh, really, the Chesapeake Bay and Delaware. And on September 5th, it begins to curve up northeast, just missing the coastline before making landfall. But again, all of this is absolute voodoo speculation here. So let's go to the end of the period just for the fun of it on the 11th of September, 9-11. Big trough out in the Pacific Northwest, ridging down here and uh, down below that. Looks a little unsettled down there in the Gulf, but again... We're just peeking. Nothing specific, that's for sure. Uh, that is it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. That's alabamawx.com. If you're watching this video on YouTube or iTunes, that blog is a great resource, no matter where you are if you're dealing with these tropical systems. And we'll have the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're in the Birmingham, Alabama area, watch us on television this evening on ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.